Hello, everybody, and thank you for coming to another episode of Why You Telling My Business? Don't be telling my business. Why not? Because I can, can, and I can, can, I can, can, I can, can, and I will. And while we on that, we're going to be talking about Kanye West tonight. Because it doesn't seem like he gets a clue of where he's at and where he's trying to go. I don't understand about this young man. He has it all. But again, we're talking about a fool and his money. And what all that brings. And... The pride goes before the fall. Okay? The pride goes before the downfall. So, he has all this money and don't know what to do with it. Don't know who to share it with. And don't know how to love himself. He has these four beautiful young babies. And the only thing he's worried about is their mama. He needs a fresh outlook on life because one thing is for certain and two things for sure everybody's gonna die one day one way or another okay we just don't know when we're gonna you know cancel out of this life this plane of existence and move on to another one but why let this woman that you call your wife sit there and make you be estranged from them because of her you have lawyers out there but your problem is you still want the menace i call her dennis the menace in a sense because that's what she is a menace to society because it seems like ever since she drew her hooks put her hooks up in this man he hadn't been right since he really hadn't been right since his mother if you want to understand the truth since the passing of her Damn, the streets are talking now because it's always these rituals running around here and you people sacrificing and doing all these things. But I'm just saying what the streets said allegedly. He said he sacrificed his mama for that fame and fortune, that gold. And look what he had to deal with this person. Okay, because that's pretty much how it goes. Kim knew who she wanted, she wanted her mama to meet him, and the rest is history. Okay, she don't really care about Kanye. She care about her grandkids and she care about her daughters because her daughters is keeping her in the lap of luxury that no man can do at this time for her. You remember she was married to Rob Kardashian. He was a very high pro profile lawyer in California. Did well by her. And you know she was messing with other men here and there and they weren't poor men. Okay but I ain't saying she a gold digger. I'm not. I'm not saying she a gold digger, but she ain't messing with no broke, broke, okay, eagles. But, um, yeah, it, it just depends on if you could reflect back in time. If his mom was still alive, wonder what he would be doing and how he would be faring now. Do you think she would allow him to be in that family with that young lady, marrying her and giving her grandkids? I don't think so. I really don't think so. And he probably would have married a chocolate looking woman. To tell you the truth. But you know. It's your choice. Whoever you want to love on. Doesn't matter about the nationality. The culture or the creed. It's just who you find yourself loving at the time. But he had so much promise. And this is the story of about a fool and his money. The Kanye West story. Okay. Brother got it all. Sitting on cloud 10, 12, 14, however you want to say it. Some people say cloud 9, but I give it a little extra. All right. He's dated many women out there. Some he made his girlfriend. Some, you know, he was just acquaintances with that he just wanted to spend time with. And like I said, he's no stranger. He, he don't, uh, what do you call it, discriminate. He, he, he go with the black race, the white race, the Asian race, Italian race. But he has a fine fascination with models. So if you're not in that league of having a sleek looking body and into fashion. He didn't really too much have anything to do with you. Because I don't know what he was doing in this thing. I, like he had Saturday Night Live fever going on. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And I think he pretty much had a good friendship companionship with Megan Fox but she's like in a league of her own and she damn sure ain't gonna put no mask on her face or no school cap and that's some Kim did and and and, and you know all that mess with Kanye but Megan said I ain't about that life 
I can be with you. We can date. We can do, you know, the, the mumbo jumbo in the bed or whatever you were going to call it. But no, I, I can't be the lookalike. I got to be myself. And, you know, she's true to herself. She dropped that ego. Yes, yeah, she did. She said, you know, you're going, you're doing a little bit too much for me. So I'm out there 86 on out of here. Cancel me. But like I said, you know, he's had his share fair of women. And he's definitely had his little black book that you can just thumb, you know, through. And, you know, they're going to be nice women. Very nice profile women probably up in there. Okay. And, um, <coughs> excuse me. He could have had a life with them. You know, but he chose Kim for some reason, you know, because she wasn't really nobody in a sense that were doing something fabulous out there. I mean, she didn't have her own money. She was a part of money. She was a part of that culture, that environment. But that was something her uh, dad had put her in. Her mom had put her in. It's not something like she had a craft of her own or talent and she, you know, got millions off of it. No, honey, she called herself making this video, and they say her mama leaked the video for fame and fortune, okay, of her and Ray J doing, you know, some strange things for some change, but it's only supposed to be been for their viewing. She got leaked out, and the girl been blowing up ever since, coming up over a sex porn video. I'm talking about Kim Kardashian, all right, and Ray J, if you don't remember that, who Google it. That's all I can say. Because <laughs> that, that's just too much for me. That's a little bit too much. And, um, yeah, he's had his time, you know, and had rumors put on him that he was gay, allegedly. He was messing with Jeffree Star, which was that previous picture before that one. Uh, makeup artist person, Jeffree Star. And, you know, he's had his fair share of bad publicity and good publicity. But... The one thing everybody just can't get over is why is he, like, that movie they had uh, by Jordan Peele, I think it was called Get Out. Why does his life so much emulate the life of that person in that movie? And if y'all don't know about that movie I'm talking about, just Google that too, okay? Or if you had the pleasure of seeing it, that's some weird ass shit, ain't it? That is some weird ass shit. So I don't know if Kardashians... Meaning the, to the whole family put a spell on him. Or just Kim put a spell on him. Or just her mom allegedly. And he just can't get out of the mess. I'm like man you better break them chains. You better do something. Because while you worried about putting your family back together. You might be going somewhere else. Then you didn't think you were going to be there. And that's like pushing up daisies from that ground. If you keep messing with the situation. Or you could be in a psych ward. Because the things that you're going through now. Sitting up here. Having all these tantrums out there uh, in the public, on social media, because Kim is dating Pete Davidson, and you don't like it for some reason. You know, you bought that house right across the street from her, and, and uh, they tried to not let you be a part of your oldest daughter's birthday celebration. You bought that ranch because you was going through your religious, your religious spiritual awakening. You bought that um, that ranch that we that picture just showed you, and I think you sold it. I mean, you just a fool in his mind. I just don't know what to do when you're not centered. That's why I said you can't be. I well, again, again, I you I, the, the God I serve may not be the God you serve. Let's just put it like that. But you should be looking and asking for discernment on this whole situation that you don't find yourself into. Because you just don't seem like you have any awakening peace while you're up in the day. And you, I must be hell for you at night. Because it don't seem like you're getting no sleep either. Because you're pining over this woman who has a Jezebel spirit. Who doesn't care about you. She says she got to worry about herself now. So she's self-loving and she's a vain woman. But you want this woman in your life. Or is it Kim? I mean, is it Chris that you want, child? Because to tell you the truth, that don't look like no son-in-law hug. If you get my drill. Are you doing both of them, baby? Are you doing Kim and the mama Chris? That's nasty. I'm just going to tell you. All mess aside, that's just nasty. But that's allegedly as well. But Kim introduced you to her mom, Chris. And she may have not liked you at the, at the time. But then she probably didn't know how much you were worth and your talent but once she figured that out she said yeah we got to have him in the clan it, it, it's just something about them girl they, they look kind of witchy don't they? i'm just saying 
beautiful but kind of witchy. And that, you know, allegedly that's what they say they are up out there in California. I, I don't know now. I don't know, but that's what the streets are talking about now. But yep, keeping up with the Kardashians. You know how that made a Lamar Odom with Chloe, right? You see, that's a strange, disfigured picture. But I thought with the eyes, all seeing eye, only for the people that know what I'm talking about, my conspiracy theory people. Look how Chloe did Lamar Odom, basketball player, very fluent. In the league. Had it all. But he had a drug problem. That pretty much messed up his career. They never had any children. Uh, I don't know for lack of trying. I'm not really sure. But yeah. Lamar was the same person that Kanye was. Loving himself some Chloe. And look where he's at now. I know y'all know he's been in the headlines. Messing with these Kardashians. And even Bruce. He don't turn into a woman now. Okay. I forgot what Caitlyn I think he's calling himself now. That's what the Kardashians do for you. Them women are hell on wheels. And I don't know why. These men, black men, are so attracted to them. It makes you wonder like, hmm. Is something clean in that milk that they're trying to uh, serve up to the men? That fall so desperately, hopelessly in love with the Kardashians? And Kanye is no, no different. But I'm just giving y'all that comparison. Isn't it seems. Isn't it plausible. That he's going down the same road. That Lamar Odom went through. And he might be. In a sense trying to save Pete Davidson. Because he kind of looks strange to me too. And he always had those bags. Or those dark circles around his eyes. Like he's a vampire or something. You know what I'm saying. She in the middle. And she got two men pining over her. And both of them look pretty much dead. Especially Pete Davidson. He looked like Walking Dead. Because I understand why he got those. I mean, he's a. I don't know. What what does he do? I know he's a uh, celebrity. But I, I didn't really try to do any research on him. Not really. I'm like, does he pump people for a living? Uh, you know, like those pump prank videos. What, what does Pete Davidson do? Somebody get down in the comments and tell me. Because I wasn't really prepared. But it seems like um, since Lamar Odom got done dirty. Now Tristan. Was who this other guy she's supposed to be messing with? Told you they love that black man. He don't really messed over her because of an outside affair. Now of course they're not married. They're just you know whatever, you know fucking partners. I would just uh, be able to say you know, because um, you know that girlfriend boyfriend thing, fiance. You know it's just he just messing all over her. In other words, but look what she did to Lamar Odom. So it might be her karma coming back to get him. And um, I just think Donda would be so ashamed of Kanye professing his love and all this in different, or you know, really crazy ways to a woman who has really gotten what she wanted and now she's ready to move on. I mean, and I can't blame him. I mean, he's a Republican. He's making money. He's doing what he make it do. And he wants these big taxes that only the Republicans seem to get. So I understand by him wanting to be over there with the president. You know, <laughs> and he think he 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 best boys with the president, the past president, the one that told people to go drink Clorox so they can be free from this Ovid, and incited that that party he had down there at the Capitol, but didn't invite nobody <laughs> who had sense. Okay. Oh boy, I tell you, this is a hot mess. It's a hot mess. But again, a fool and his money. This is about the Kanye West story we're telling over here. See, he doesn't look well. He like he, you know, Pete Davidson. That's him on the right. And that's uh Kanye in the middle. And um, it it just doesn't seem right. Now. And King, uh, Krista Kardashian don't give a shit about Kanye. She don't use them up. They don't use them up to what they wanted to have out of him and do for him. So now they're going to let him go play the crazy bus scene. And he's doing a wonderful job at that. Because the only thing they're doing is letting him make a spectacle of himself. Let him uh, be rational out there for the millions to partake of. And can agree that he was not. That's He's at the Super Bowl with that mess on. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, who does that? Why are you trying to be faceless? And you have these kids that you say you love. That's what you need to be focused on. Getting and raising your kids and being a, um, 
a, a good stable person for them while they are growing up you don't need to be in the household with them because they probably going to see all this fighting and that truckload of roses you want to give her when she's definitely with somebody else it's it's piss poor i mean you're the only one in love or i don't know in a trance or something and you're doing all these stupid things that chris meaning the mom mom manager manager overseer of the estate of the kardashians she's not gonna let you take kim to the bank and she's not gonna let you uh distort her in any kind of way okay and she's just giving all the evidence every last piece of evidence of all your irrational uh makings doings sayings and she's gonna use it all against you when it comes to, to put you away in one of those mental institutions or you're going to be six feet under one way or the other because you're making too many uh, negative gestures at Pete Davidson. And every, it's all on YouTube. It's all out there in the world. You own every magazine about your irrational ways. And see, that's uh, Chris right there. She called herself like a black man too. I don't know. It's just about something about that melanin. I, I just really don't know. But, yeah. Look like a black vampire client, clan, don't it? He? He's sitting right there in it. And he think his mama-in-law love him that much and she ain't even fighting for their own uh, marriage. She not even checking Kim to say, look, if you don't want this man, then let's put it out there. Y'all will get a divorce and that's it. And we'll have it where he can pick up the children. Y'all go work out some co-parenting thing through the system until we can finalize, you know, your divorce from him. But let him see his kids, you know. He stay with him one week. He stay with you one week. I mean, he ain't a bad joker. We don't have him in the family this long. Let's not do him that way. But you think Kim's, I mean, Chris saying anything like that to Kim? No, hell, she ain't. She sure is not. She only worried about herself, herself, and herself. Because every last one of them daughters of hers, she manage. She makes sure they're here, there, and everywhere. She keep them booked and busy. And pretty much, that's all, you know, that's all that is. She's going to make her choo-choo train run because she don't have any other man that's going to take care of her and keep her in the lap of luxury that she likes to be in. And she, she's a, she's a definite, definitely an alpha woman. She makes the decisions. She runs the household. She runs the businesses. And that's it. Okay? Period. Point. Blank. End of story. And... Like I said, we see how Bruce Jenner ended up. We see how Lamar Odom ended up. Very negative for them. Very negative. And I'm pretty sure they both wanted to probably allegedly, you know, end their lives in a sense. Because it was just that piss poor and they couldn't get the Kardashian and women to feed back into them. You know what I'm saying? Like be back with them how things first initially started. You know, the whole dating romance, the, the preliminaries of dating and getting to know each other, all them fun places until you got to the marriage and the kids and then life set in. And she loved herself some Kanye at the time. So what's what's different? I mean, he's the same person except for overly loving her more and more and more each day. And she's looking at him like a parasite. But it's just something. That's that's just too crazy for me to even try to interpret what's going on. But somebody needs to give brother man a clue before he finds himself six feet under in jail, you know, for disorderly conduct and, you know, just stalking somebody to the max. And or he might be in a same asylum or mental health institution. Those are his three choices that I see. Because he just won't let up. And Chris ain't trying to help them with their marriage. She don't really care if it lasts uh, another second or a year. She doesn't care. That's obvious. Because she was very affluent. Well, she was very pivotal. Pivotable of making sure they got together. They stayed together to have those kids. And she locked them in. And probably got some contracts on them too. As far as doing work with her. But, like I said, she's self-serving. Once he provided no more resource for her or no more culpability, she just cut him loose. And she said, Kim okay, can toy with him as much as she wants, allegedly, because she's done. She done did all she can do for him. Now, he's just a part of the world. And let the world have him. That's pretty much how she's looking at the situation. All right. 
But that's all I got. So we can go into what People Magazine wrote up on him. Okay. A Rachel DeSantis wrote this up for People Magazine. She titled it Kanye West says he takes accountability for now deleted Instagram posts harassing Kim Kardashian. Kanye West shared an influx of posts over the weekend that included screenshots of texts he received from both Kim Kardashian and Pete Davidson. And Mimi's or Jiffy's, you know, probably not good, uh, that he captioned with harassing messages. Kanye West is working on taking accountability following a series of Instagram posts he made about his strange wife, Kim Kardashian, and her boyfriend, Pete Davidson. Uh, the rapper wiped, wiped his account on Tuesday afternoon and shared a new photo following an influx of posts over the weekend that included screenshots of texts he received from both Kardashian and Davidson and that he captioned with harassing messages. See, he's saying they harassing him, but we already know it's the opposite, right? West 44 posted a picture of him standing solo on a platform surrounded by clouds and said he was working on his communication skills. I've learned that using all caps makes people feel like I'm screaming at them. I'm working on my communication, he wrote. I can benefit from a team of creative professionals, organizers, mo mobilizers, and community leaders. Thanks, everybody, for supporting me. Now, anybody that doesn't know anything about PR and social media posting, Kanye ain't stupid. They told him all caps. We learned that in high school, pretty much. All right? College. You don't talk in all caps. It looks strange for one. And then they, as an etiquette, say that's like you're hollering at people. Okay. I could care less. It just depends on if the cap locks are on when I'm trying to type. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Whether you perceive it or just read the information. Okay. That's all you have to do. But that's just me and my age. But going back to the article, it says the Donda Raptor continued with a reference to the multiple posts which he said came off as harassing his ex 41 with whom he shares his children north saint chicago and psalm okay the oldest one is eight the youngest one is two all righty and if you go on to his uh instagram account you'll see that picture where he's supposed to be i don't know in the desert or sand and he's being whisked up in this whirlwind of uh clouds and stuff almost like he's in another plane of existence okay i know sharing screenshots was jarring and came off as harassing kim he wrote i take accountability i'm still learning in real time i don't have all the answers to be a good leader is to be a good listener uh i don't know what he's talking about about real time is he's in another plane of existence and then bopping back in did we have portals out there now that they didn't tell us about or we can travel to and fro Kanye please okay and that's going to be another situation where they don't think he's stable and he <laughs> may be in one of the little hospitals here and there getting doped up uh and trying to get him stable in his brain but that's just my point not in this article going back to the article it says two hours later however the rapper was back with another since deleted post which shared an image of a roadside billboard stating stop telling fathers they should have fought harder to see their children and stop asking mothers why he had to fight at all with kim i mean uh kanye basically we don't really see you fighting for your kids okay because if you were doing it properly you would take it to the court system and you would not be harassing their mother by sending her unwanted texts unwanted visits i'm wanting uh roses and all this stuff no i could see if you were doing all this for your kids and they, it was going to your kids but you are disturbing kim which is your soon-to-be ex-wife uh and their mother so of course they don't want to see their mother upset and and and, and uh probably screaming and, and hollering all the way around the house about why you won't leave her alone it's almost coming like a lifetime movie you know what i'm saying like obsession but again these are things they're just gathering on you so when it's time to use it don't make sure don't make like it came out the blue you setting the tone for them all the way you're setting the tone you're setting the stage and you're setting the optics and it doesn't look good for you whenever they want to pull the plug and take you to court i'm just saying uh, they're going to prank you as being irrational, uh, obsessed, uh, deranged at times, and unstable. Those are the key words they're going to use on you when they try to bring you down. But that's just me. Me overlooking situations. 
you know, that's given to me to try to uh, reason with. Okay? Going back to the article, it says, West has expressed interest in reconciling with Kardashian, who filed for divorce in February of last year. As we know, we're in February of this year. It's been a year. I don't know what's going on with, uh, with a divorce. If you're being uh, relinquished, both of y'all are amicably saying y'all don't want this, that, and third from each other. I don't know why it's taking so long. But it is what it is, okay? After nearly seven years of marriage, on Valentine's Day Monday, he shared a photo of a pickup truck filled with roses that appeared to be en route to the uh, Schemes Foundation, though it remains unclear if she received them. Kardashian, however, has expressed frustration with her ex, namely after he publicized, criticized the fact that North is active on TikTok. Kanye West, uh, Constant attacks on me in interviews and on social media is actually more hurtful than any TikTok North might create. Kardashian wrote on her Instagram story on February 4 as the parent who is in the main wait a minute, as the parent who is the main provider and caregiver for our children. I am doing my best to protect our daughters while also allowing her to express her creativity in the medium that she wishes with adult supervision because it brings her happiness. And see, she already said the tone for you. She already saying she's a single parent. And those are very instrumental, uh, very orchestrated words that she's using. She said, again, let's read that. As the parent who is the main provider and caregiver for our children. So she don't edit six you out the whole scope of co-parenting you see what i'm saying and she's using her words very strategic strate yeah, strategically okay now i think they got in a big fight because um um kanye didn't want the oldest child to be or have a uh instagram account where she was doing tiktok or something to that word that that um referencing uh something she wanted to do but kanye 86 idea he said he didn't want his children or uh, or his child up there having a uh a, a, a tiktok account i mean it's okay for them to have you know an instagram account which i don't know which one is worse because they both seem the same and they on social media but with i guess some rep um some representation of adult watching over said person that wants to use it that's under age i guess it would be okay but he felt like no he didn't want it and kim took it very personal because she's a social media you know guru and she's plastered everywhere and now she wants her older daughter to be plastered so i could see both of them point but for me i have to side with kanye because i think you need to be at least 16 or older because you do have perverts out there you don't know if she may uh be very fluent with using you know keystrokes and and, and and texting back the folks and you don't know you know and then with her being up there with uh having a certain lifestyle and privy to certain um you know things that most normal children would have uh privy to you know she might ask her driver to take her somewhere one day and she might be meeting somebody she met on tiktok you know because she's not the average normal everyday run-of-the-mill um eight-year-old you know what i'm saying so she has to live uh, definitely a more faster life and she's going to be uh approached you know with people asking her to do different things anyway especially if she's branding herself and she wants to be into you know a particular market of making revenue for herself even at a young age she might be you know maybe want to design her own clothes and her own jewelry and her own um what you call it fingernail polish or whatever kids get into at this time in her age group because she has the money to do it she don't have to wear, ever work for anybody or ever do anything because she's gonna live off her mother's and her father's um money that they've set aside for her so i could see both on the side but I, I like i said i go with kanye on that one and then uh going back to the article it says she continued divorce is difficult enough on our children and kanye's obsession another key strategic word was trying to control and manipulate our situation so negatively and pu publicly is only causing further pain for all from the beginning i have wanted nothing but a healthy relationship because it is what is best for our children and it saddens me that kanye continues to make it impossible every step of the week uh, others every step of the way the 22 time grammy winners instagram cleanse comes over 
uh, what comes just one day after a rep for actress Julia Fox confirmed that she and Wes, who have been dating since New Year's Eve, are no longer together. Now, with that fictitious, you know, relationship, I think it was just all for show, smoke and mirrors, uh, just to show he had somebody out there to post with. But I don't think it was really anything to that relationship. Going back to the article, it said Ju Julia and Kanye remain good friends and collaborators, but they are no longer together, the rep said in a statement to People. Uh, the Kardashians, meanwhile, have been dating Davidson, 28, since October, and the two were photographed sharing a kiss after going out to dinner in New York City on Sunday. A source recently told People that the couple has had a drama-free relationship despite Kardashians' ongoing divorce. Pete is... Uh, great for Kim during the past few months when they have been dating. Kim has been very happy, the source said. All the drama with Kanye is still difficult for her, but Pete cheers her up. They haven't had any drama so far. It's very refreshing for Kim. I'm like, yeah, because Kim got it all sold up. She done used this man, abused this man, tortured this man, and now she wants to dump this man. Of course. Okay, she got the best of both worlds. She ain't got to work another day in her life. She ain't got to be on the Kardashians anymore. But that's not what uh, Chris says. Chris says she's going to work until she dead. And pretty much all her kids pretty much. Because she's going to continue to live in a lap, lap of luxury. And she just don't have that uh, expertise or that look. Uh, because of her age. She don't have. She can't do all that anymore. So she's going to, you know, pimp out her children. So they continue to be the look, the face of her brand. And she don't put all of them in. You see what I'm saying? So Kim thinks she can run. But she can't hide. Not from her mama. Even though I don't care how many relationships she goes through. Okay. But she's locked, sold, and pretty much ready to ship out anytime Kim, I mean Chris, decides to do so. Forget Pete Davidson. Forget any man she's messing with. Chris owns her. At least that's what I get from that whole scene of events of a mothering trying to do for her children. Okay. But that's all I got for this particular video, guys. It's a sad, sad, sad state of affairs that a man that had so much promise is, has put himself to these depths of shame uh, and humiliation. Okay. And he's going to be destitute before it's over with. More sooner than later. But again, that video was about a fool and his money. The Kanye West story. Y'all get down there. Dialogue with me if y'all want to do so. Uh, and let me know what y'all felt about what Kanye is doing out on those streets. Those social media streets. And why his fascin the fascination just comes so uh, obsessive that he's doing with Kim. And Kim definitely don't sit out there and, and set the stage. She don't want him no more. She don't want him. Like, what does Kanye not get on that situation? Money cannot buy him love. Money cannot buy him a wife to love him again. And money show ain't the um, answer to each and everything in this reality. But that's all I got, guys. Y'all enjoy the video, and I'll see y'all on the next one. Bye.